Hey everyone, how are you going? I was wondering, have you ever seen a geometric artwork that looks like this before? How is it made? Well, if you've ever been to the SciTech Discovery Center, you might have an idea. My name is Ryan and together you and I will go have a look at the harmonograph exhibit at SciTech. Come on, I'll show you how it works. So how does our harmonograph work? Well, the table acts like a pendulum moving freely across two dimensions and the pen is on the center of our page and it will record the path of motion that the pendulum moves when we give it some momentum, which we're going to do now. You'll notice that the lines don't add up. This is because momentum is gradually lost due to friction. Eventually, the pen will make its way back to the center of the page. The geometric images are almost always different depending on the force that is applied and in what direction. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? How about I show you how we can make a harmonograph at home? Okay, so the first thing you need to do is put a hole in the bottom of your cup. You can do this by using a pen, or if you want to use some scissors, make sure you get a grown-up to help you. After you've made the hole, you need to add some masking tape to the bottom of the cup to cover the hole. This is a very important step. It helps if you leave a bit of masking tape hanging off this side. Next, we're going to make a handle for the cup using a small piece of string. We're going to get some masking tape and stick that to one side of the cup, here, and another piece to the other side, like so. Now we have to tie our long string to the cup. Tie it through the middle of the handle as best you can. If you don't know knots, tie lots. So we've created our harmonograph. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Next step, we're gonna need a grown-up to help us. We're gonna need to suspend our cup just off the ground from somewhere nice and high. I found a nice high place here in SciTech to hang up our harmonograph. Maybe at home, you could use a door frame or a washing line. As you can see, I put a big sheet down so that we don't make a mess. You don't wanna make a mess of your carpet at home. Our next step, we'll be using a funnel like this one to help us put the sand into the cup. The funnel will also help put the sand straight down through the bottom of the hole. This is the fun bit, we're ready to go. Is quickly pull this tape off and give it a little bit of momentum. So in our at home harmonograph, you can see the cup works as the pen and the pendulum. It's drawing the path that our pendulum is moving. As you can see, it's slowly making its way back to the center. And there we go. That's how you can make your own harmonograph at home. Thanks for checking out the video. We'll catch you on the next one.